we've seen two examples of continuity, although of course we didn't use that word at the time. But we have stated the following results, that if you have a polynomial and you want its limit as x approaches c, you can just stick c into the polynomial. And the same thing is true of rational functions, as long as sticking C into the rational function doesn't give you a division by zero error. That is to say, as long as C is in the domain of the rational function. We can now state these facts compact polynomials and rational functions are continuous on their domains. And in fact, so are most of the day-to-day -day functions that we looked at in high school and college algebra. For example, and let's just go through these. The trigonometric functions are all continuous on their domains. Now the sine and the cosine have as their domains all of the real numbers. So these are continuous at every real number. The other four trig functions aren't continuous everywhere because they're not defined everywhere. But where they're defined, they're continuous. We are not going to discuss these until calculus two. But the inverse trig functions are defined on their domains. And so, I don't know if you, you all have heard of these before. If not, no harm done. We'll talk about them in calculus too. But so are the hyperbolic trig functions. Exponential functions are continuous on their domains, and so are their inverses, the logarithmic functions. Power functions are continuous on their domains. And let me see what else is there. Um, the absolute value function is continuous on its domain. And this list of continuous functions is pretty much all of the functions we look at in high school and college algebra. So most day-to-day -day functions are continuous.